And hi, everybody. I'm Sean Hannity. We have a lot to cover tonight. And first off, filmmaker Michael Moore's documentary, Sicko, is highly critical of the health care system in this country and suggests that Canada's single-payer government-run system should be the model for the U.S. But a brand new series of documentaries tells a very different and shocking story about just how appalling the Canadian health care system really is. They don't care how long you wait, you'll get to you sooner or later. But it's free. It's free. Lindsay McCreeth, a retired body shop owner from Newmarket, Ontario, began having headaches and had a seizure in January of 2006. Both he and his doctor suspected a possible brain tumor. He needed an MRI fast. How long was the wait? Four months before we could get our first MRI here in Ontario. The McCreeths wanted to pay to get an MRI rather than wait four months for the government to provide one. However, Ontario Minister of Health George Smitherman is a staunch defender of a single-payer health care system and won't allow private payment for medical services. Lindsay McCreeth got his brain surgery in the U.S. The results of the biopsy? Cancer. Luckily, a well-contained grade 2 astrocytoma tumor. If that had been a class 4 uh, astrocytoma tumor, he would not have made it. He would not have lasted eight months. He would have, in all likelihood, have died. Now, I recently spoke to filmmaker Stuart Browning. I want to get a few things on the table because I know you're going to be criticized for the series of videos you put out here. You have absolutely no ties to the health insurance industry. No, I haven't. You have no ties to health care industry in any way. No, not at all. I've already been criticized for that uh, without any, any proof. Because now we have just about every presidential candidate. They're all talking about nationalizing health care in some capacity. Mm -hmm. you got Michael Moore's propaganda film out there. So there is a little momentum moving in that direction. And anybody that criticizes it is bound to be attacked, right? Well, certainly, if, you, if you're criticizing universal health care, that means that you want uh, millions of children and millions of Americans to go without insurance and therefore health care. And you so. want them to get sick and die. That's <laughs> basically how the propaganda goes. Uh, yes. All right, let, let's talk about the And most people look to, for example, either the French model, mm -hmm. the Canadian model, the mm -hmm. single-payer system, or the English model. Sure. Okay. You deal with the failures and, and the inadequacy, inadequacies of all of these uh, different systems. In my films, I focus on Canada, and the reason I do that is because Canada is a pure single-payer system. Right. In Canada, they don't allow private insurance or private care, and uh, Michael Moore is also advocating uh, the uh, abolishment of private insurance. So Canada is the, the, like a laboratory experiment for America. The single-payer system, he, one observer, I think you pointed out, actually said Michael Moore created a love letter to the Canadian system. Uh, yes, he, uh, he showcases the worst of American health care, but yet when he goes to Canada, uh, he had to fall all over himself to find people that were waiting uh, only short amount of time for emergency care or to, or to see a primary care physician. But those aren't the people that wait in Canada. But what, but what is the reality that most Americans don't know that they ration health care, that many Canadians have to wait these extended periods of time to get elective mm -hmm. surgery, and even in some cases, life-saving surgery. Sure, it's, uh, it's always, it's, it, many times it's life-saving surgery, and it's not just Canada, it's, it's Canada, the UK, anywhere where single-payer health has been tried, uh, patients wait and sometimes die waiting. On average, what's the wait time? Uh, it's about 17.8 weeks, but that's, uh, you know, that's a median, and that's for all provinces and all types of care. It's very easy to find people that have waited uh, months uh, for, for bypass or years, uh, sometimes four or five years for some things, gastric bypass, five years. As, as part of the series and videos that you put mm -hmm. out here, you actually interview specific people, real life circumstances, mm -hmm. living under this Canadian system. For example, we have a Canadian woman who had to have her bladder removed because she was on a three-year waiting list because she needed the corrective surgery and she never got the surgery she needed. That's right. In my movie, Two Women, uh, which is available on my website, uh, right. there, there's a woman who uh, her bladder ceased functioning. Uh, she needed a device, essentially a pacemaker type device. Her name is Janice uh, Fraser. Janice Fraser. Right. And the, this pacemaker device, uh, the Canadian system only wanted, at the hospital where she was going to have this operation, they only did 12 of these a year. 12 of these a year, that's one a month. She mm -hmm. was number 32 on the list, which would make her wait three years. She ended up losing her bladder. All right, let's go to the case of a woman from Ontario, Canada. Her husband had a brain tumor, mm -hmm. needed surgery. 
Why don't you set up this tape that we're going to show people? Okay. Uh, this, is a, this is a classic. Uh, you know, the, the Canadian system, they, they, they uh, ration access to MRI machines and di diagnostic tests because, in, in essence, they're afraid of what they'll find. Uh, if they find a tumor, that tumor could be cancer, and then a person would go on a politically sensitive waiting list for cancer. So uh, the longer you can p get people from uh, getting diagnostic tests, the better your system's going to look. In this gentleman's case, he was going to have to wait four months for uh, an MRI. Uh, instead of doing that, he uh, contacted a, a medical broker who essentially brought him across uh, the American border, got it within two, uh, two days. Let's roll that tape. My father passed away a few months before this happened, so we happened to have the money there. But if we hadn't, I would have put a mortgage on a home to go for the surgery across the border rather than wait six, eight months, which is ridiculous when your life is threatened. You're desperate. You don't know where to turn. You need help and you can't find it anywhere. It's amazing. And one of the things you chronicle here, this is being chronicled in the, in the media in Canada, but the, the word is not getting out to the American people. Sure. You know, go out to Google News and type in surgery canceled or surgery waiting. You'll come up with news stories in Canada, the UK, New Zealand, Australia, all English language press uh, where this sort of thing happens uh, weekly. All right. What do you think of Michael Moore with all the investigative work and the background research you, you have mm -hmm. had now in the Canadian system? Sure. He comes out with this propaganda film. What do you think of him? Well, when I saw the movie at the Washington premiere a couple of weeks, there was nothing new there for me because all of the same uh, myths that he's peddling have been peddled for years by the, the advocates of single-payer health care here in the United States. So there was nothing really new there. Now, as far as truthhood, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to find there in this film.